hey guys it's me rose welcome back to the channel today i am going to show you guys how i clean my fridge now one question that i have i need to know how often do you guys clean your fridge i did put a poll up on instagram and a lot of you guys said whenever you can but the fridge is where you put your food so you want it to always stay clean and smell good that will help your food smell good as well if you want to see how I achieve it, keep on watching. Be sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. First, I am going to have a little bit of water in this container. I am squeezing lime juice in there and as well as a little teeny tiny bit of white vinegar. Now, the lime juice will help your fridge smell good and as well, it will keep the glass and everything else stay shiny and it will get clean faster now i add a little tiny bit of soap i am not going to add too much soap because if it's too soapy it's gonna be a lot to, to clean i removed the big container already that's what we're gonna get to first we're going to start cleaning those this is how they look Now time to clean them. Now for the big containers, because you are able to wash them and rinse them, I am going to wash them with soap. Before I do, I usually add my water first, remove the big dirt out, and then I am going to use my sponge, add, add the soap in there, and start scrubbing and rubbing it on um, the containers like I said I am using regular soap for the big bin or the big containers because you are able to rinse it off now the reason why I didn't add too much soap on the soap concoction we did earlier is because you know the fridge is a really hard place to clean so it's gonna be too soapy when you're cleaning it out so it's best to you know not add too much soap so yeah that's what I am going to be doing now I am going to rinse it off now I did clean my fridge not too long ago so it's not like too too dirty but I really wanted to film this video for you guys maybe like three weeks ago or two weeks ago I cleaned the fridge so it's not that bad but I still want to clean it and show you guys the way I do it now I am going to rinse the other one off now this is the uh, third one I believe I am going to quickly wash it off because I know you guys already saw how I cleaned the other one so just rinse it off or wash it and rinse it I am going to add the soap and yeah and just scrub it make sure you scrub the inside the outside the, the the top the bottom just make sure you clean it really good once I am done cleaning all of them I will let them dry outside because I don't really have time to be wiping them off this is them right now outside air drying I feel like it's more easy for me I don't have to worry about wiping them off now I am going to do the, the door this part of the door I'm going to remove them and you see it's kind of dirty we're going to wash that as well now keep in mind to keep your fridge closed because if you keep it open for too long that might ruin your fridge so try to keep it closed as often as possible whenever you're removing whatever whenever you open it try to close it right away I know it's kind of hard to do but try to do it if you have a fridge like mine it will tell you when to close it. it's gonna make the beep beep sound like you open it for too long or it's open uh, after a few minutes or maybe two minutes so yeah you can definitely ruin your your fridge by leaving the door open for too long so try to keep the door closed as you know close as possible so I am going to do the same thing for these 
I know a lot of people, um, not a lot of people, I've seen a few from my side of people be, they use bleach, a little teeny tiny bit of bleach, but I feel like it's gonna make the fridge smell like bleach or the entire food in the, in the, not bleach, Clorox, it's the same thing. <laughs> so I try not to use bleach. I feel like it's gonna make my food smell like bleach. Although it smells like kind of clean, but mm, no, no ma'am. So yeah, I am going to rinse them off and I am going to put them out outside as well with the rest of them. Although they might have some water spot on them, but it's, it's just better for me than, you know, taking the time to wipe them off. It's just cut the time and a half for me. And yeah, don't forget to leave your comment down below. How often do you clean your fridge? I would love to know. No judgments on here because I know sometimes I'm really, really lazy. I do not feel like cleaning my fridge. I don't do it very often, like I said. But if you do to clean your fridge, let me know when you do it. All right, now we're done with these. We're going to put them outside as well. Now moving on with the inside of the fridge. I am going to use the soap concussion that I did earlier. I am going to use um, the same sponge, rub it all over the inside of the fridge. Like whenever, whatever you see, all over basically, all over the fridge, just scrub it, run it, and keep dipping your, um, your sponge in the soap because you know like i said the the <laughs> like i said i can't get the word out the lime will help you get rid of the dirt faster it will basically soften up the dirt so try to add the sponge in the water as often as possible yeah just keep scrubbing I don't know who I was talking to uh, or maybe I was looking at something maybe Callie I don't know <laughs> she's always on my videos you guys I try my best but your mother accept it <laughs> but I feel like filming this voiceover I feel like if I was just talking it would have been a hot mess in this video come out pretty good with a voice over oh sorry guys maybe i was talking too far away from the mic i'm not sure now we have a nice wet rag we're going to wipe it wipe it all over this is what we're going to use to basically do the finishing work wipe it and make sure you rinse that that rag as often as possible because it will have a little bit of dirt in it so make sure you rinse it up and start right start wiping again i can't talk it's really early by the way um yeah just wipe all over that's what i'm going to be doing sorry guys i was all up in the camera i try make sure you clean the door make sure you clean that part all over the bottom as you guys can see the bottom is nice and white and clean now time to add my bands and i am going to put all of them back in there now the second one going in last but not least the third one I was having a little trouble putting that in. All right, now time to clean the outside of your fridge. You know, gotta get rid of those fingerprints. <laughs> so I am going to spray it first and use some paper towel to wipe down. Make sure you clean on the top of your fridge. There are usually a lot of dust there. So if you clean often, you won't have to clean that hard or how i would say it if you clean like clean as you go or clean kind of often you when you have to clean it won't take you forever 
to clean everything so clean a little bit at a time whenever you can basically i know a lot of you guys are busy women so yeah this is how it looks after it looks nice and clean and it smells fresh all your food going to taste and smell fresh they're not going to taste old and rotten anything you put on there make sure if you cut onions or any vegetable make sure you wrap it in a foil or a ziploc bag because that will help to keep your fridge nice and fresh the smell will taste fresh even your ice it will help your ice to smell fresh the freezer make sure you guys take care of that too this is how it looks i hope you guys enjoy it do give me a huge thumbs up for this video if you enjoy watching it or if you do something differently let me know down below and i'll see you guys very soon on a new video we're going to do a cleaning series let me know if you guys are interested thank you for watching i'll see you guys on my next one bye